Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and today we're going to break down Climb snowmobile gloves available at RevZilla.com. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take the 12 pairs of snowmobile gloves from Climb, and we're going to break them down into four categories. We're going to focus first on a category that's going to maximize grip with no insulation, and then we're going to move up into levels one, two, and three of increased insulation and minimalistic grip. So as we start this video, you're going to know that you're getting the maximum grip from the gloves that we're going to start with with no insulation, and as we move through the video, through the different groups, you're going to get increased insulation with less grip. So. The one thing to note before we jump into the gloves is that as we work our way through this video, the fit is going to be the same across the board. Climb is going to give you an American fit with their gloves. So the same as we'd see from somebody like Icon, we're going to have gloves that are going to give me an extra large. Now, if I'm in a Dionese or a Revit or an Alpine Stars, I'm a 2XL, so I am bumping down a size as I get into Climb gloves because they are cut a little bit larger. Now, each of these categories are going to have specific features to the gloves, but three of the features that we're going to talk about will be the same, and that's going to be the three different levels of Gore-Tex you're going to see here. So we're either going to talk about Windstopper, we're going to talk about Gore Grip, or we're going to talk about regular Gore-Tex. Now, when we talk about Gore Windstopper, it's simply that. It's not going to keep you waterproof, it's just going to block the wind. And then when we get up into, you know, Gore-Tex, everybody knows what Gore-Tex is, it's guaranteed to keep you dry. It's also going to maximize breathability. But then when we talk about Gore Grip, Gore Grip is a special way that they laminate the Gore-Tex inside the glove, so it's going to not just give you a waterproof barrier, but it's also going to help to maximize grip so you don't have that layer moving around within the glove itself. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with our first group on the table, and this is going to be the Maximize Grip group. So my right hand side, we are going to start off with the inversion gloves. These are going to come in around the $50 price point. Sizes will range from extra small up to 3XL, and you're going to have three colors available. Now what's going to stand apart for these is there's really no insulation here. There's a little bit of fleece lining, but you are going to have the Gore Windstopper with this glove. You are going to have a touchscreen fingertip, and then you are going to have silicone grip running around the palm on this. So you get maximum grip with this, maximum feel, maximum feedback, but it's really going to be an active use glove because there's really no insulation here. Now in addition to snowmobiles, this is going to make a great option for those of you out there utilizing your mountain bike in the winter months of the year. Now if we move to the middle of the table, this is going to be the Inversion Pro, and what we're going to see here is the addition of a leather palm. Sizes will range from a small up to a 3XL. You are getting a price bump up to around the $90 price point now, because you are getting leather included in this, where with the regular inversions, it was just a Clarino palm. Two different colors are available. You are going to sacrifice the touchscreen fingertip with this. So you're going to have capped leather fingers, a little bit of light pour on padding at the back, and you are going to maintain that Gore Windstopper. So we have yet to get into any kind of insulation, remembering that this first group is really focused on maximizing grip. Now the last glove that we're going to have on the table is going to be Gore-Tex. So this is going to be the first glove that we're going to talk about that's going to give you waterproof protection. And there's still no insulation in this, light fleece in the back of the hand, but maximum grip, maximum feedback. But now you're getting that Gore-Tex protection put in here to make sure your hand stays dry. Dual closure system, and in addition to the wrist closure on this, what I like about the, uh, the rip cord in the back is that it's the quick eject system. So once this is on your hand, all you have to do is pull that little tab. Works very well to get this glove on and off easily. Light accordion stretch, but we take a look at the palm on this, full leather palm, but it's three-piece construction. This is something that we're seeing climb carry over from the ADV glove world, and it actually gives the gloves a pre-curve to the finger, so there's less stress on your hands as you're out there all day using this glove on your handlebars. And you can see, even as I hold this up right now, that pre-curve to the finger really holds their shape. And that's really going to be a distinct feature that's going to incorporate the Summit gloves into this extreme grip category, because it is going to be focused on grip, not insulation, but you are getting that waterproof membrane in there with the Gore-Tex. Now that's going to round out our table for extreme grip. Let's now move into level one, which is going to incorporate a bit of insulation. So we're now moving into our level one gloves from Climb, which is going to incorporate some insulation, but we're still going to maintain grip with this. So first up on the table on my right hand side is going to be the inversion insulated gloves. Now this is exactly the same as what we just talked about with the inversions, but now this is going to run you about an additional $10, so you're looking at the $60 price point, and you're getting 60 gram thin slit platinum insulation with this. Now, 
As we talk about the insulation you're going to see across the board from these gloves, they're all going to utilize Thinslit Platinum. And the Platinum is a little bit different than regular Thinslit because it's going to be hydrophobic and it's also going to be a little bit more crush resistant, which maintains that air gap, maximizing warmth. So 60 grams of insulation through this. This is going to be the only other glove on the table that we're going to see that's going to have the touchscreen fingertip. It is still going to be a Gore Windstopper. So there's really nothing changed over the regular inversions aside from the fact you now have that insulation. So moving over to the Power Cross gloves in the center of the table. These are going to be loud and proud around the $100 price point. These are going to be the only mid-cuff glove that we're going to see. You're getting 100 grams of, of insulation with this. And again, you are now getting up into Gore Grip. So remember, Gore Grip, that Gore-Tex is now laminated in here for maximizing grip. It is going to give you that guaranteed waterproof protection. It's going to evaporate quite nicely. You are going to have the zip entry with this and you are going to have the leather palm. Now, the other thing you'll note here, a little bit of pre-curve to the finger, not quite as aggressive as what we saw with the summits, but you are gonna have this silicone layer that's gonna work right across the fingers to maximize the amount of grip that you're getting, really gives you good traction on the bars. You're gonna have three different colors available with this. It is part of the larger Power Cross line. Sizes will range from a small up to a 3XL. But if you're looking to you know, outfit yourself from head to toe, the Power Cross line is the way to go as far as those of you out there looking for really something for more active sled use. So the last glove on the table rounding out the level one is gonna be the Sautelli. And the easiest way to think about the Sautelli is simply gonna be an insulated version of the Summit gloves. Now we're gonna have 100 grams of premium thin slit platinum insulation in the back of the hand. Unlike the Power Cross, which had that 100 grams of insulation at the palm as well as the back, the reason we're only seeing this at the back of the hand for the Sautelli is for those of you out there using heated grips. You're going to see the palm on this glove is actually very similar to what we're going to see on the Power Cross, except for there's no insulation at the palm, so you can get that heat from your grips transmitted right to your hand. You're still getting that silicone layer across the top for grip. And the other thing you'll note is that you're gonna have a very dense fleece on the inside of this for added comfort. So in addition to the insulation, you're gonna have a fleece lining to the back of the hand as well. And you're gonna have those same two closure points that we saw when we were taking a look at the summit. Again, you have that quick release system for that final gauntlet design for that shock cord works quite well. Small through 3XL, and there are two different colors available when we're looking at the Sautelli. This as well will give you that Gore grip. So the two gloves that we're going to see on this table that are going to have that Gore-Tex technology are going to be the Power Cross and the Sautelli. Remember, those inversions are just going to have the wind stopping. So with that being said, let's move away from grip and get into level two and really start talking about maximizing insulation. Now, before we get into level two gloves, Remember, if you want to keep track of all the different snowmobile apparel that Climb has rolling out, now would be the time you want to subscribe to us on YouTube to keep up with all the different product reviews we have rolling out on the new line of Climb Snow Apparel. So the level two gloves are now getting um, into the warmer options from Climb. These are going to start to maximize insulation and put a premium on warmth over grip. The first glove that we're going to see on the table is the Climate Glove. This is going to be part of the larger Climate line, which is really going to be a casual piece that's going to really focus on style. Sizes are going to range from a small up to a 3XL, and you're going to have three different colors available with this kind of unique textile pattern on the back, kind of just giving you a little more of that stylistic look. Now, what we're getting here is two levels of insulation. On the back of the hand, you're going to have 200 grams of that thin slip platinum, whereas on the palm, you're going to have 100 grams of thin slip platinum. The other thing you'll notice is that this is going to have a very tacky feel to the palm itself. It's going to be the most unique palm that we're going to see out of all the different climb gloves. It's a polyester palm that really maximizes grip throughout so you don't run the risk of sliding off your handlebars. There's a very tacky feel to the palm. And this is going to be a Gore-Tex glove coming around the $80 price point. So the real note here is that you are getting Gore-Tex. It is going to be sub $100. The only real nitpick I have with this glove is it doesn't utilize that same eject system that we're seeing from the others, and it's not quite as smooth to operate the, uh, the little eject button on the bottom. But again, you're coming around the $80 price point, and you are getting a full Gore-Tex glove. That's really the benefit you're seeing with the climates. Moving on to the Togwa Tees. You can think of this as a long cuff version of the Power Cross, which we just talked about in our level one gloves. Now, what we're gonna see here is something a little bit more unique. What we're not gonna have is insulation in this. Instead, you're gonna have a removable fleece liner. So if I pull this out, 
you will notice that you actually have a fleece insert that can be removed. So if you want a little bit of warmth, you can put the fleece insert on and then stick it back in the hand. Or if you want to use that without the insert, you can pull that out and maximize the amount of grip to your hand. You're still going to have a gore grip with this. So where you had Gore-Tex with, uh, with the climates on my right, we're now getting up into that gore grip. Remember we talked about gore grip maximizes the feedback around the $140 price point. This is going to be that wild style piece. You are getting that quick eject system. You are getting the full leather palm and of course the silicone grip along the base on this. Now, sizes will range for this one from an extra small to a 3XL and you are going to have three different colors available. The final glove that we're going to see rounding out the level two is going to be the Elite. Now this is going to be the most expensive glove that we're seeing from Climb Snow Line and there's a reason for that. Full leather construction around the $240 price point. This is going to be an ultra premium piece from Climb. Sizes are going to range from a small up to a 3XL. You have two different colors available and you're having 160 grams of thin insulation but it's only at the back of the hand. Remember, there's going to be just that leather construction at the palm and that's going to maximize the amount of heat coming off of your grip. So if you're running heated grips, you get the fleece at the back of the hand with this. You're going to get thin insulation in the back of the hand. But the palm on this is just going to be leather, which allows all that heat to come through. And you will notice you are going to have that three-piece construction, that pre-curve to the fingertips, which really helps to reduce stress. Dual wrist closure, you're going to have a Velcro closure at the wrist. And then you're also going to have that quick eject system that I really do like. It works so seamlessly to get this on and off. Full gore grip with this, so you have that waterproof protection with the best feel. And then you're also going to have a little bit of uh, protection in the back of the hand. So you're going to have some accordion stretch, split knuckle design, and you're going to have these ceramic plates at the back of the knuckles, much like a super fabric. This is kind of Climb's version of that. And this is going to help to give you some impact protection as well. So with the Elites, this is going to be that premium offering from Climb in their snow line. So that's going to wrap up our level two gloves and it's time now to move into level three which is going to maximize insulation and warmth. So wrapping up our climb snow gloves we're getting into level three. I just made a six. Level three. This is going to be maximum insulation. This is going to be minimal feel. We're looking at 500 grams of insulation on some of these gloves starting off with the caribou mittens on the right side. These are coming around the $110 price point. There's going to be sizes that range from extra small up to 3XL, one color available. Now the story here is you've got 500 grams of thin slit insulation. It is a Gore-Tex glove, so it is waterproof, and it splits that level of insulation 400 grams to the back, and you're going to have 100 grams at the palm. Full leather palm with this, but there's no dividers on the inside. So just keep that in mind. Your hand on the inside tends to move around a lot, so while you're getting maximum warmth with this, there is very little grip to be had. Now, the quick release system on the strap on this is done a little bit differently than we're seeing with that quick eject system, but it works just as nicely. So just keep that in mind. I have no problems with the quick eject on this particular glove, and you have that additional closure at the cuff, or at the wrist, rather. So moving up to the middle of the table, this is going to be the Tundra Split Finger Glove. Think of this as your lobster claw. Now, what I really like about this one is that while it looks like a three-finger glove, there's actually separate chambers on the inside for all four fingers. So each of your fingers does have a different place to go on the inside of the glove, which really makes it feel like a regular five finger glove. This is probably the best glove on the table from a fitment standpoint and from a grip standpoint. Now, the other thing that you note with this glove, it's a dual chamber glove. So 500 grams of thin, of thin slit platinum insulation, but you can split it. So you can either run this with 400 grams of the back, 100 grams of the palm, or you can run this with the full 500 grams of insulation at the back of the hand, which just leaves you that leather palm to sit against your heated grips. This is going to be a Gore-Tex glove around the $140 price point. Sizes will range from an extra small to a 3XL, and there's just that one color available. Now the final glove on the table is for those of you that do want a five-finger glove, but you want maximum insulation. These are going to be the Fusions, again, around the $140 price point. This is going to be a dual chamber glove as well, but you're now splitting 260 grams of thin slit platinum. So you can run this two ways. You can run this with 260 grams of thin slit platinum at the back of the hand, 
which is gonna leave your leather palms to sit right against your heated grips, or you can split it and run 60 grams of insulation at the palm, 200 grams at the back. In my personal opinion, the only way you can comfortably wear these gloves is by putting all the insulation in the back of the hand. When you try and use this in the middle section or the middle chamber where you're splitting the insulation, honestly, it becomes really beefy and really hard to use. With those leather fingers, it just gets way too bulky. You are getting the quick eject system with this, dual closure, full leather accordion stretch at the back, pops reflective. It is a Gore-Tex glove, so you're getting that waterproof protection built in here. And this is, again, gonna be that five finger option for those of you that are looking to maximize warmth, but you want a five finger glove. Personally, if I was looking at the three options that we're gonna see on the table, the one that's gonna give you the best feel out of any of these while maximizing warmth is actually gonna be the Tundra. So while it doesn't look like it's gonna give you that same dexterity, because of the way they chamber the inside off, this would be my top pick for any of you out there that are looking for a, maximize, a glove to maximize warmth, but you also want to maintain some of that grip. Now, that is going to round out our Climb Snowmobile Gloves video. So at this point, if you want some extra information from folks that are already out there utilizing these gloves, subscribe to us on YouTube so you can keep up with all the different Climb products that are going to be rolling out for the new year to keep you warm in the snow. And you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting these gloves through their paces. If you have a question for one of our gear geeks, you can always give them a shout, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Climb Snowmobile Gloves. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.